Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to give y'all a first impressions look at the Magpul Tejas El Burro gun belt. It's pretty good on the R-rolls, isn't it? So this is a uh, belt that's been out for a while from uh, Magpul and I wanted to check it out. Uh, so let me kind of tell you a little bit about my first impressions, a little bit about the belt itself. Uh, so Magpul calls this 100% waterproof reinforced polymer whatever that means. Uh, I'll tell you this, um, it does have some grip to it. I, I like that. Some of my other belts, when I stick them on, they actually can slide uh, in and out of my belt loops or kind of move a little bit. I, I really like the fact that this does have some grip to it. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes to put it on, but uh, uh, once it's on, guys, the gun, uh, the belt, the pants, they become one piece. They are secured. Uh, let's talk about pant sizing real quick. So I wear a 30, I have a, I have a 36 inch waist. Uh, if you look at the sizing for on Magpul's website, uh, it basically correlated to a size 38 belt. So don't order the same size as your pants. Read the website, do what it says, do your public school math on that to make sure that your belt is the right size. With that 38, uh, wears perfectly, or I'm on the fourth notch of the belt, it wears great. The belt buckle is aluminum. That is the only thing I am concerned about. Why? Because if you go to their website, they sell replacement buckles. It's a clue. But one of the things that I've been impressed about this uh, with this belt is, and I was a little bit worried that it wasn't as stiff as some of my other belts, but one of the things that I've really, really enjoyed, uh, it does a great job of hiding the gun. I feel like the gun does not print as much uh, when I wear this. And because it is a, it gives a little bit more, uh, I think it just holds the gun closer into my body. Um, and just kind of secures it a little bit more. It makes it much more comfortable to wear. That is a fact. So I kind of want to show you all the difference between this Magpul belt. Uh, I've got right now, I'm wearing a uh, Aries Aegis. Uh, this is a leather belt that I have had for several years and I wear it all the time. So I kind of want to show you guys how this Aries belt wears, um, kind of show you how it prints or doesn't print. Uh, I'm not a small guy. Uh, yeah, I've still got a little bit of belly on me. I want to show you how this Magpul belt conceals uh, compared to uh, this other belt. Here there are the belts side by side. If you've seen my previous video on selecting a concealed carry belt, I talked about how your belt should be able to hold its shape. Um, the Magpul Tejas belt does do that, but you see it's not as rigid as this, uh, this leather belt from, from Aries Gear. Here it is with the Magpul Tejas belt. I'm not sure if you guys can tell a difference, uh, but in my personal opinion, I think the Magpul belt conceals uh, a lot better than my more stiff belts. Uh, I got a, my buddy Alex with the suited shootist talks about your appendix belt needs to have a little bit more flex than other belts. I never really understood that until now. So uh, this little bit more flex, the belt giving a little bit more uh, is much better in my opinion for uh, appendix carriers. So guys, that doesn't mean you can go out and buy some $15 Walmart belt that is just flimsy. No, you need a sturdy gun belt. But like I said, this one is sturdy. It holds its shape. It's just not as rigid as the other ones. But um, like I said, I personally, it feels more comfortable and I think it does a better job of concealing. One last thing about the material, the best way I can describe it, if you have a Filster Flex um, or also I think Blue Force Gear has a lot of their laser cut you know, accessories out of the same material, that's the best way I can describe it. It's got a rubbery texture on it, but that's really the best way I can kind of describe how it is. But like I said, guys, my first impressions for the first seven to 10 days, very, very pleased with it. Um, I have no issues with it whatsoever, and I think it does a much better job concealing, uh, and it's much more comfortable than my other belt. So I'm gonna keep wearing this. I'll keep y'all updated if I have any issues or whatnot, and kind of give y'all a long-term review once the time gets there. But uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.